Hey, my name is Karanda Adair and I'm the CEO of Carvel Digital. I've been in business for eight years as of this month and these are the five things that I wish someone had told me when I started my business. Let's go. Number one, building a business is like a personal growth program that you get paid for. The more you grow, the more you earn. So the things that are your personal failings are going to bleed over into your business. If you're afraid to ask for the sale, you're not gonna make money. If you're afraid of conflict, you're gonna get clients that run all over you. So just get prepared to be uncomfortable and embrace it because the things that freak you out now are gonna be old hat once you take them on. Number two, get a mentor as soon as you possibly can. There is so much to know when you're starting a business and you just can't know what you don't know. Getting someone who is ahead of you and has been there and done that is going to save you so much time, money, and heartache. It'll pay for itself many times over. Number three, get business insurance. Sad to say, but especially if you're a woman of color or any other marginalized identity and you live in the U.S., we're pretty litigious and things don't always work out. So if things go sideways, having somebody on your team who can just handle it for you can be the difference between you getting totally derailed in your business and being able to focus and keep growing. Number four, don't quit because it's hard. No one said this would be easy and things are going to go wrong. Don't let mistakes be a reason for you to quit. Just take the lessons that you learn and do better the next time. Number five, price your services like a business. There's a difference between being a freelancer and owning a business. And as someone who started out making $500 websites, I can tell you that those websites really didn't help anyone. If you're wondering why you're burnout and you can't make ends meet, it's because you're probably not pricing correctly. So if you're struggling with this, get someone to help you, but know your numbers so that you know how much it costs you to deliver your service and what you need to price to make a profit. All right, that's my five. Happy business owning and happy growing.